I'm here to spill all the tea. In today's video, I'll be sharing the top things I've been doing to grow my baby's hair long in just one year. If you're looking to grow your baby's hair long, this video is for you. Mamas, when it comes to my children's hair care, I'm all for starting early. I'm talking newborn early and setting the foundation right from the beginning. This gives my children a great start to their natural hair journey. Now with Asha, she's my fourth child and it was no different for her. I started her hair care as soon as we got home from the hospital. So from newborn up until about five months, I would wash her hair once a week. Mama's scalp care is always a priority for me. A clean scalp is the foundation for healthy hair growth. So then I'd moisturize using water and coconut oil and I'll do this every two days. This would keep her hair moisturized, soft and of course minimize breakage. Whenever I'm done moisturizing my daughter's hair, I would not do any form of styling. So literally I'll just leave her hair out in a fro. I also didn't use any tools on her hair at this point, so no combs, no brushes or anything. I literally just use my fingers if needed. Keeping things super simple and low manipulation was and still is a priority for me when it comes to her hair and to ensure that she retains as much length as possible. And then at night, I'd protect her hair with a satin fitted sheet in her cot. This helped with moisture retention, it would help minimise breakage and of course help with length retention. So around two months, she experienced cradle cap. To ensure that she didn't experience hair loss at this time, I made sure to stick to her newborn regimen. And on wash days, I'd soak the affected area in coconut oil for about 30 minutes to soften the cradle cap and then use a baby comb, the one you see in the picture right now, to gently lift off the flakes or cradle cap off her scalp. Then I'd shampoo her hair and then rinse her scalp with diluted apple cider vinegar mix so that would be two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and eight ounces of water so it's really diluted then a final rinse of plain water the cradle cap mamas literally disappeared in four weeks and there was no hair loss so mamas my daughter was born with straight wavy hair at the sides and the back of her head and the top middle of her head was curly so around two months i started noticing her curl pattern was changing her curls were developing more around her whole head and by six months she had a full head of curly high density hair it was so beautiful to see so i continued paying attention to her hair and tweaked her regimen as her hair needs change so for example, at six months, I noticed she developed a dry patch, particularly at the back section of her head. It was also um, feeling dry. It didn't retain moisture well. It didn't feel silky or soft with the rest of her hair. It felt kind of like synthetic hair. It was wiry and would tangle and sometimes get matted easily. By the way, mummies, all of my children experienced this. So I knew exactly what to do to help and ensure that the area at the back section didn't break off and retain as much length as possible. So what did I do you may be wondering? I introduced a conditioner after shampooing her hair and midweek co-washes until the dryness phase passed. So co-washes if you don't know what that is is basically a conditioner only wash. So I introduced this until the dryness phase passed. This dryness phase lasted about three months so once this passed, I took out the co-washes of her regimen. The most important thing to note is that even though she was going through this dryness phase, the back section of her head, she was still able to retain length. So on wash days, to minimize breakage, I would gently detangle her hair, working in sections, because her hair was longer at this stage, fingers first, then a wide tooth comb. I still do this now, by the way, in terms of my techniques for detangling, 
but I use a brush now instead of a comb. This really helps with length retention. Now to avoid over manipulation, I would only comb her hair on wash days. So outside of wash days, I'd just use my fingers. Again, this helps massively with length retention. And then after shampooing or co-washing, I'd moisturize her hair now using the LCO method. So instead of water and oil, as I did in a newborn phase, I introduced a leave-in conditioner and then a butter to help with moisture retention. And I'd moisturize her hair twice a week using this method. Moisturizing again in sections to ensure an even spread and to minimize dryness and of course breakage. I also started plaiting her hair loosely from six months to help with moisture retention and minimize tangles, which also helped with length retention. Mummies, I stuck with tension free styles, mainly plaits and puff rolls, as I like to call it. And for special occasions and for church, for example, I would do like braid outs. And then at night, she'd still sleep on her satin fitted sheets to protect her hair, of course, from breakage, from frizz, and just to help with that moisture retention. And then around 11 months, I introduced multivitamin drops, which included especially vitamin D to ensure that she was getting all the essential vitamins she needed and to avoid any deficiencies, which could potentially cause hair loss or thinning. And then at one years old, her current age, I introduced a clarifying shampoo. And this clarifying shampoo I use every four weeks. I'm stuck with washing her hair weekly and also conditioning after shampooing. I then moisturize her hair once a week now using the LCO method still. So that would be water, leave-in conditioner, and a butter and then i'll plait her hair loosely again this helps with moisture retention and of course length retention and then at night now she wears a bonnet to sleep to protect her hair from you know frizz breakage and of course help with length retention and this is how i was able to grow my baby's hair long in just one year mamas if you are stuck with how to create a regimen for your little one if you're not sure of the what the when and the how to of creating a regimen this video is a must watch click the video showing now in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and check it out trust me you will not be disappointed